Hey friends, it's Heather Patterson, Chief Happiness Officer, and I'm back for another happiness tip. This week, I wanna talk with you about making moves. Making moves, so what do I mean by moves? Well, there's like physical moves where we actually relocate our geographic uh, locations, right? Either maybe even close or sometimes really, really far. There's moves in our career, there's moves in our hobbies and interests and the things that we are committed to. And there's even moves that we make regarding our personal relationships, romantic or otherwise. And so sometimes we feel like we wanna make a move, we want to, but we don't. We don't. And I've been thinking about this a lot and I've been thinking, you know, I feel like I've gotten pretty good at making moves. <laughs> Not because I necessarily wanted to, uh, but you know, it's just been the nature of my path. And so why not share with you um, pieces of what making moves means to me and some of the things that have helped me along the way so that if you are contemplating a move of your own, then you'll be more equipped. So the tip I wanna to give you today, if you are considering making a move in some way, somehow, what I want you to think about is what is waiting for you on the other side of that move. For example, when I was, I guess I was 21, I lived in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I was working for a mid-sized newspaper, and I was thinking about making a move. And I did, and I made a move to a bigger market, to Denver, and wow, it was so exciting. So the thing that prom prompted me, the thing that was waiting for me on the other side was a new adventure, it was a fun city to me, not saying that it needs to be fun to you, right? But to me, there was this fun, exciting new city that was beautiful and there was career opportunity, and that's what was waiting for me on the other side. And another example, relationally, I mean, I've been through a divorce, I've experienced breakups romantically, I've even, you know, broken up with friends here and there, you know, and there's different things that were waiting for me on the other side, some things like uh, not being in conflict, being in uh, an emotionally healthy space, um, really honoring, you know, kind of where I was at and where the other person was at and whether or not it was a fit right? Just alignment was waiting for me on the other side, right? So those are my personal experiences. If you are thinking about a move, this is all about you, not about me, right? This is all about you. If you're thinking about making a move of some sort, I want you to think about what is waiting for you on the other side. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that this landed with you. If you need extra support, care, attention, I wanna hear from you. Send a DM, leave a comment, whatever you need to do. Can't wait to hear from you and I will see you next time.